This is a day when two people who are in love with each other after Valentine's Day and White Day give each other gifts to deepen their love. How many gifts are we forced to send each other? And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. As you may know from anime and manga, we actually celebrate Valentine's Day in Japan too. During this time of the year, almost every supermarket and convenience store will prepare a Valentine's chocolate area somewhere in their shop. However, the way we celebrate Valentine's Day in Japan is a little bit different from around the world. And we also have a unique day called White Day a month after Valentine's Day. How do we actually celebrate Valentine's Day? And what's white about White Day? So today, I'll explain how Valentine's Day is celebrated in Japan. Next, I'll talk about what White Day is and how it started. Lastly, at the end of the video, I will quickly introduce a different day called Orange Day, which I didn't even know about until I made this video. By watching this video, you'll be able to enjoy scenes of Valentine's Day in anime and manga more, and it'll especially be interesting for those who are willing to study or work in Japan someday. And please let me know in the comments how Valentine's Day is celebrated where you are from. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on traveling Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So today, we're going to take a look at Valentine's Day. First, let's start by talking about the history of Valentine's Day in Japan and how it is celebrated. It is said that the word Valentine first appeared in Japan in the 1960s, shortly after World War II. This was an attempt by the distribution and confectionery industries to promote sales by introducing Valentine's Day culture to Japan, so it had no religious meanings. Halloween and Christmas are both celebrated in Japan too, but in the same way, it is just a way for companies to create opportunities for consumers to buy their products. That is why Christmas chicken and Christmas cake are representative products of Christmas. Very few people know the original meaning of the events, and it's just become a kind of party. Currently, Valentine's Day in Japan is an event where women hand chocolates to men and their friends. It is said that about 20% of the annual consumption of chocolate is consumed on February 14th. This custom is said to have started in the 1960s, but there are many theories as to what exactly triggered it. In any case, it is said that some confectionery companies started a campaign to sell chocolates on Valentine's Day, which spread among students and eventually became a custom throughout Japan. On the contrary, in Japan, people hardly ever send flowers or Valentine's Day cards. In the 1980s, there were new campaigns such as Kiri Choko and Tomo Choko, where people gave chocolates to their male friends. When I was a student, there was also something called Gyaku choko, in which men send chocolates to women. Recently, sweets other than chocolates are often handed out too, and you can feel how desperate the confectionery companies are. To be honest, it wouldn't be surprising if some companies started selling Valentine's medicine or something like that. Then finally, let's talk about the day unique to Japan, White Day. To make long story short, White Day is on March 14th, a month later from Valentine's Day. It is a day for men who received chocolate from women to give sweets back to them. In Japan, there's a culture of formally returning gifts for celebrations and funerals. Confectionery companies noticed this and they started a new campaign around 1980s to create a timing for people to give back for the Valentine's Day chocolate. By the way, on White Day, cookies, marshmallows, and candies are the standard gifts instead of chocolates. So how did it come to be called White Day? This again has many theories too. One, it was originally a campaign started to sell marshmallows. Two, white is the color that represents purity and love in Japan. Red and white are the traditional colors in Japan often used in celebrations. And it is said that red represents benevolence and vitality, and white signifies holiness and purity. 
By the way, before White Day was officially adopted, companies used to name this day freely, such as Poppy Day, Flower Day, and Cookie Day. Finally, I will briefly talk about Orange Day before we end. I will confess I did not know anything about this day before I made this video. Orange Day is on April 14th, another month after White Day. This is a day when two people who are in love with each other after Valentine's Day and White Day give each other gifts to deepen their love. How many gifts are we forced to send each other? The reason why this day is called Orange Day is because the language of the orange flower is joy of the bride, and it is a symbol of love and abundance. On this day, it is common to send orange fashion goods, such as accessories, bags, sneakers, caps, leather items, etc., instead of food. Another month after Orange Day is called Gray Day, a day when couples who have broken up eventually try to pretend that they never happened by giving each other gifts. Which I just totally made up. Then lastly, today's conclusion. The word Valentine first appeared in Japan in the 1960s, which was an attempt by the distribution and confectionery industries to promote sales. Valentine's Day in Japan is mainly an event where women hand out chocolates to men and friends. But recently, there are new campaigns where friends give each other sweets and men give women chocolate too. White Day is on March 14th, a month later from Valentine's Day, which is a day for the men who receive chocolate from women to give sweets back. Confectionery companies started this campaign around 1980s to sell cookies, marshmallows, and candies. The theory for why it came to be called this name are it was originally a campaign started to sell marshmallows. Two, white is the color that represents purity and love in Japan. Orange Day is on April 14th, another month after White Day, which is a day when two people who are now in love with each other after Valentine's Day and White Day give each other gifts to deepen their love. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you thought, wow, Japanese people really love to give each other gifts, huh? Please hit the like button to help me boost this video to more people. And my goal is to achieve 1 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help would mean a lot. And please check out our sub channel and membership through the link inside the description box. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita! If you guys remember the video where we played Two Truths, One Lie, the team last last show where the four of us played together, I talked about how Kazu was super popular during high school and also Tomoko was really popular, um, not just in college actually. Um, Tomoko is a friend, you know, our, our team member Tomoko is a friend from college, from my college, but even after she started working, she's been really, really popular, you know. And, you know, a lot of uh, girls and a lot of men, you know, going over to them. But me personally, I have never, ever received anything from other people before. Like from when I was like a student or even after I've grown up, I've never received anything. Like I've never received like a uh, Valentine's Day chocolate from someone before. Um, uh, I really, not just Valentine's, but I really seriously have never experienced anything like that before. So it's just so funny, you know, every time when I was in high school and, and in university, every time when there's something of a topic like, oh, someone likes this person or, you know, that kind of stuff, right, you know, what a lot of uh, teenagers love talking about. It was always about someone else, never about me. It was just really, really funny. So for me, Valentine's Day was just a normal day, 